Hi, John Dalzell again to tell you about things you should know. Um, falling, um, fall prevention. Um, for older adults, 65 and older, 28% of adults over that age um, have said that they've fallen in the last year. That's about 36 million falls across the country a year. Um, those falls report in about 37% of those reported injuries from those or, or treatment that needed or they were least restricted from activity in the last day or so. Um, that means it's real important. So what I'm here today to talk about is how you can prevent falling in your own home. Um, behind me here is the, the reports uh, by state of where you live. It's um, from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Just kind of a nice little chart here that shows you where you're at and what percentage of those people fall. Um, as you can see, anybody over 65, there's a lot of people out there that have, have fallen. So... Some of the things we want to talk about today are things to prevent that. So, things about your house, things when you walk in the front door. Um, make sure that you've got proper lighting in front of your front door. Make sure that your steps um, don't have broken steps. Make sure in the winter there's no ice on them, so keep some salt right next to your door. Um, a lot of people fall coming in and out of their house. Um, if you don't have an appropriate um, railing there, make sure you get one of those in place. Um, Things in your hallway when you walk into that house or the foyer that you come into, um, just make sure that they're they're lighting, proper lighting um, that you can see everywhere you're going. If you go right into the house from the front door up to the steps, it'd always be nice to have people live on one floor when they're older, but that's not always the case. But if you have to go up steps, make sure that your handrails are appropriately you know, latched or if you need others, uh, appropriate um, different handrails, get that taken care of. Make sure there's nothing on your steps. Make sure there's no clutter. I know at my own house, it just seems like they don't want to go up the stairs very much, so you put all the stuff at the bottom of the steps so the next time you're going up, you just will take it with you. Um, in that situation, just make sure your stairs are cluttered. Um, some people actually put tape on those, so at night maybe, or even in the dusk or early morning, um, you might be able to see the colors, helps you see the, the steps better. Um, when you go into your bedroom, Let's make sure that there's a light right next to your bed. Um, the last thing you want to do at night is walk over to the light, um, trip over things in the bedroom, fall, do those kind of things. So make sure there's a table or a, a standing light next to your bed that you can turn on. Make sure your phone's right there, too, so you don't have to get up looking around for the telephone. Um, also, make sure you have a clear path to your bathroom. Um, that is a very important thing because a lot of times, myself included, when I get up in the middle of the night, I'm just walking straight in almost a zombie sleep going to the to the restroom. So make sure that there's a clear path there. Um, don't have cords laying around, um, unneeded wires, those kinds of things. We don't need those in the house um, in an area where you're going to be walking in the middle of the night. So just make sure all those are in a good spot where you don't trip. Um, when you're going to your bathroom, non-slick rugs or non-slip rugs are very, very important. In my own bathroom, I, I can't get out of the shower without taking a tumble. So... Um, I have a, a stick mat right there outside the, the shower so that I can come off and dry myself off and not worry about falling when I come out. Also, in the shower, I have lots of little strip um, stick things on the bottom of my floor so that I don't fall. You can put those in a bathtub. You can put them in a, in a shower. They're very inexpensive, so um, make sure you get those taken care of. Um, also, when you're, when you're in your, uh, if you need help, um, there are places to get help or places to make sure that you're taken care of if you need it. Anybody that has Medicare Advantage plans that are out there, I'm just going to say that out there. Some of them have um, help programs where they'll actually send people out to your home to help you with that kind of stuff, make you, um, they're there for helping you cook uh, meals, having you um, do light hold duties. They can help you make sure that all that stuff is in the right spot. So if you need any help getting that done, there's places you can call. Um, also, make sure you take your walk. I know my wife, if she's watching this, she's going to yell at me because I don't walk enough. Um, but that keeps you healthy. Make sure you exercise um, regularly. Also, there's gyms out there, and a lot of the programs have silver sneaker programs that are free to you when you sign up for those. So make sure you take advantage of those. You can go to the pool. You can go to the gym. You can just walk around the top of the track, go play basketball, do whatever you want to do. Um, so those are, those are very important. I'm um, in your kitchen. Make sure you don't have any of those slip rugs that are sitting in front of your, in front of your uh, kitchen sink. Uh, make sure that they have a rubber mat on the bottom of them. Make sure that if you spill something there that you clean it up. Or actually in my own home, we have uh, an ice maker that shoots 
ice, and if you miss one, it falls onto the floor, and all of a sudden you get a wet spot. So uh, make sure you're cleaning those up appropriately because uh, we don't want to fall. Um, that's where the majority of 65 and older people come up with their injuries um, and go to hospital trips. So um, just want to let you know. Have a good day.